So to begin adding a countdown timer to our video, go over to the project panel and right click, select new item, and then black video, and then drag it above your video on the timeline. Now that we have our base, go over to effects and find the time code effect and drag it on top of our black video. With the black video selected, go to effect controls and change the blend mode to screen to reveal our background. Scroll down a bit and deselect the field symbol option and change the time code source to generate from the drop down menu. Now you can adjust the size and location of our timer by modifying the scale and X and Y position sliders under effect controls. Next, head over to effects, find crop and drag it on top of our black video. Under effects controls, Adjust the left and right crop sliders so they cover up the non-used parts of your timer. When you're happy with how it looks, right-click the black video and nest it. Nesting reverts the blend mode back, so go in again and change it back to screen under opacity. Now right-click your nested sequence and scroll down to speed slash duration, and from the pop-up menu, check off the reverse speed option and click OK. Now we have our very own timer for our video clip 